Hi guys, I am Dr. Matt Rochelle of GoTherix and I wanted to introduce you in this video to the GoTherix Body Transformation Challenge. So we did this challenge as a staff because we wanted to show you the ins and outs and the real raw footage of natural body transformations and what they really look like. There's not gonna be any hidden crazy angles. There's not gonna be any uh, editing and Photoshop. It's gonna be real raw footage of real people that are making body transformations. And our staff came together to put this together. We're starting out with, we're gonna get our body composition and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna let you all know about our diets, our workouts, you know, what our day-to-day -day looks like, the pitfalls, the successes, the failures, and everything else. And then we're gonna give you the raw footage at the end as to how we did, what we started at, and where we ended at. So we're starting this in January 2022. We're gonna be finishing it up in June of 2022, again with body composition testing. Within this program, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see various individuals with different goals. Myself, I'm trying to lose a bit of weight and I'm trying to gain a little bit more muscle mass and be more aesthetic. There's people within our group that are looking to prep for sporting events. There's people in this same group that are looking to just maybe increase muscle mass, specifically maybe get a bigger butt or have better curves or, you know, they're just looking for different things. Some of us are just trying to get stronger. So the reality is, is what we're showing is natural transformations, which take time and effort. And we're gonna show you when we are eating wrong, if we're eating right, if we're exercising regularly, if what it is that we're going through as we work through through the psychological, the physical and nutritional and all the other aspects of doing this. Each of the people participating in this, we have our own journeys and we're gonna be sharing with you the differences with those journeys and the differences in us as people and why it is that it's so hard to make these body transformations and yet how each of us is able to overcome and able to make a transformation as we go. So we hope you'll join with us as we go through and highlight each week the changes, the developments, and how it is that we've progressed as we look to transform our bodies in 2022. Thanks. Hey, I'm Lynn, and I'm with DexaBody, and we're here today doing some body composition analysis. So what DexaBody is, uh, it is a full composition of your body. It gives you your body fat percentage, your resting metabolic rate, how many calories your body burns at rest every day. Uh, it gives you your bone density and a muscle balance report uh, by regions of the body. So we're the gold standard in body comp analysis. It's non-invasive. You don't have to get wet. You don't have, nobody pinches anything. Just lay on a comfy mat. In 10 minutes, you get a 10 page report of exactly what you're made of. So we'd love to work with you guys. What's your name and age? My name is Matt and I'm 43. My name is Jessica and I'm 40 years old. My name is Warren Welch and I'm 43 years old. My name is Juliana Rochelle and I am 46 years old. I'm Griffin and I'm 25. What are your goals for the summer? My goals is I'd like to increase the amount of muscle mass that I have, especially in my chest, and abs, and arms, and I'd like to gain about 25% on my overall strength, and then I'd like to lose probably five to 10% uh, body fat. My goals are, I would like to improve my squat weight. Um, I would also like to go up on my hip thrust and deadlift, along with eliminating some overall body fat and lean up a little bit. My goals for the summer are to increase my strength. Uh, I've been working, lifting for about a year, so I want to continue training, and I also am hoping to lose some body fat as well. The goal for the summer is for me to have a healthier um, overall body. I went through um, a month of illness. I was in the hospital for like a week. And after having all my blood work, I, I realized that I have way too many issues with what I'm eating, with my organs. I, so I really want to go back to a healthier lifestyle. Get back into lacrosse shape. What challenges would you have to overcome? Um, so I just generally have been inactive over the Christmas period. Um, the last couple months of my business has been really busy, which is great, but it's meant that I've gained some weight and uh, that was unwanted and I haven't been able to get into the gym as much. My schedule, I'm a mom of three and so it's hard to get in the gym three days a week sometimes. So I notice on the weeks that I only get in like once or twice that I kind of fall back behind a week. So I'm going to really try and stick at coming to the gym three times a week. and. Um, Hopefully that'll help me to improve on my strength. 
Diet is going to be a big thing for me and just being disciplined with keeping my gym schedule uh, the way that it is. I used to lift weights in the garage and I was just eating. I'm a person that just overeats, sort of like um, when I'm anxious I eat, when I'm happy I eat, so I really need to check on my nutrition. I had back surgery uh, about four months ago, so just coming back from that. What does your current diet, lifestyle and exercise look like? I exercise at this time probably fairly sporadically, uh, one to three times a week, um, lifting weights. Um, I do some CrossFit classes about once every two weeks. And um, my diet is somewhat controlled, but it's a little bit loose. I still am drinking and eating lots of sweets. And then uh, lifestyle wise, I'm super sedentary outside of my uh, specific times when I'm working out. Um, my current diet, I'm gluten free and um, we do eat probably like 70% organic. Um, I try to eat healthy, but my biggest downfall is that I love sugar. So I'm gonna need to work on eliminating my sugar, especially at night and after dinner. So I'm lifting three days a week and I'd like to go to four days at some point. And then as far as diet goes, that is a concentration that I'm gonna change and I plan to do some food prep three days a week for lunch. I would love to be able to see food as fuel instead of food as something that I need in order to feel happy. Uh, so have a healthy relationship with food along with um, overall working out maybe daily so that you kind of get rid of my anxiety. Diet's pretty non-existent. Lifestyle is pretty active uh, with the dog and constantly running around doing things, but uh, need to get back into gym more often. What would you consider success? Minimum amount for success for me would be to uh, lose a good amount of the body fat that I have and probably gain a, um, enough muscle to get under, say, 18% in terms of body fat. Success would be, I think, if I can increase my strength, uh, go up in weight, I would like to for sure work on my squat form and go up there because that's pretty low. Um, I really want to do 315 for hip thrust and um, I just want to continue to work on my deadlifting form and go up on my weight there. Success would be getting stronger, uh, feeling, continue to be feeling better, and also uh, looking better. Uh, be athletically competitive with uh, other people that you know I consider at the same level of my sport and to get down to about 20% body fat. I'm <laughs>